This is a soft box. And this is that same soft box in Blender. Today I'm gonna to show you how to use some cool lights from the real world to create better images. Now to get started, you're gonna need this. I mean, not this specifically. You're gonna need a camera of some kind, something that can take pictures. Then you're gonna to need to take your light, put some light inside of it, and then take pictures of the surface of that light. In a groundbreakingly beautiful scene here, we're going to create an area light because this is the kind of light that we want to emulate. Now our overall light is looking okay, but we can see that in the reflections here and in some of the quality of the shadows, we're getting this perfectly even square, which isn't realistic at all and doesn't make sense. So we'll split our view here, change it to the shader editor, and add in a texture setup. Import your amazing new texture. Now delete the texture coordinate node, add in a geometry node, and use the parametric output and plug that into the vector. And it's actually taking on the form of our texture. Now what we can do is take the power of our light and bring it way up. I'm using the photographer add-on which makes this just a couple of button clicks for me. I'm actually going to add in a gamma node in between here just and just bring that down a little bit because I think that the texture could have been maybe a little bit flatter but I just you know didn't do that. Now take a look at our reflection. It looks way more realistic and so does our render because you have just cracked the code to a perfect light in Blender. You can do this cool projector effect if you take the spread all the way down to one and then you can see it just projects the image off the light. So if we import an image of some caustics, we can see that we're getting this underwater effect. Now you can do a similar thing if you want a flashlight effect. Just change the light type to spot, change your light to a flashlight image, just make sure that you swap out your node for a texture coordinate node and use the normal output. Maybe we take our gamma and we adjust it the other direction so we get more contrast in our texture. Now check out the super cool looking flashlight effect. And has a lot of interest in texture to our scene, especially when you add in all of our other lights. Now this isn't the only trick to getting awesome lighting, but this is one of my favorites. And I actually have a couple of these lights saved in my asset collection. If you want to see another really cool tip that's going to speed up your workflow and make your renders look nicer while you're working on them, click on this video right here and watch it all the way to the end. You won't regret it.